What is going on, Guardians? Ember here with another one for you. Today, we're actually going to have a little bit of spoilers in this. We're not really going to be going through the new dungeon too much, but I want to give some people opportunity to get through it before we really get into any of that kind of spoiler stuff. So there will be spoilers in this. We will be having some footage from the second encounter of the new dungeon. Um, but otherwise, today we're going to be using Ashen, Wake, and Tommy's matchbook in a Solar Titan build. It's incredibly fun to use. And that second encounter stood no chance whatsoever. Before we get into it, head down below this video, absolutely obliterate that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to stick around at the end of the video for an original meme. And without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so let's dive in and check out what makes this build so powerful. Right here, first off, Ashen Wake. These are our exotic armor piece of choice. They're gauntlets for Titan, of course. Uh, the armor perk is called Bring the Heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Final blows with fusion grenades grant grenade energy. So it feeds right back into itself. Um, I have our grenades kickstarts right here set up with a firepower. So our grenade final blows will create orbs of power feeding back into our grenade kickstarts. Paired with that, we are using Tommy's matchbook and it is very, very strong to say the least. I recently picked this up. I'm very impressed with this weapon and I would highly recommend to you, if you don't have it, go out and get it. This is one of the peak PVE weapons that I have used for a long time. And so we have our intrinsic trait here, Ignition Trigger. Sustained fire with this weapon overheats it, increasing damage, but burning the user. And so that's a big drawback. We're gonna do some things in this build that are gonna negate that pretty much completely. So we're just gonna have a very, very strong matchbook here. And the other perk here we have is heat sink. Overheat damage is reduced while not aiming down sights. While overheated, sustained fire scorches your target. And scorching your target is recently something they just updated with this new season in season 21. As far as our subclass goes, so I'm running Hammer of Soul, with Towering Barricade, Strafe Lift, Throwing Hammer, and our Fusion Grenades of Quartz for Ash and Wake. Our Aspects here, we have Roaring Flames, Final Blows with Solar Abilities or Ignitions, increases the damage of your Solar Abilities, and stacks three times. So getting a kill with a Grenade or a Throwing Hammer is going to increase the damage of those throwing hammers or grenades. It's very powerful to stack on top of each other. We also are using Soul Invictus, Solar ability final blows, hammer of soul impacts, and defeating scorch targets create sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster and your super drains more slowly while standing in a sunspot. Sunspots apply scorch and deal damage to targets inside. Entering a sunspot applies restoration and that is why this is going to be incredible to pair with Tommy's matchbook. If we stand inside of a sunspot, it is going to completely negate the damage dealt to us from Tommy's. It is not going to burn us to the point where we end up in red health. We're going to stand in that sunspot and pretty much just sit right at full health as long as we're shooting it. It doesn't matter. We're going to get the bonus damage. It's very, very powerful here. The fragments we have just dump on top of that. So first, Ember of Ashes, you apply more Scorch stacks to targets. That's going to help with Tommy's and spreading that Scorch around, getting those ignitions. And then the next three fragments we have all help with our grenade, just so we can spam them as much as possible, creating huge sunspots anywhere in the battlefield that we really need so that we can get our Tommy's up and running. So we have Ember of Blistering here, defeating targets with solar ignitions, grants grenade energy. We have Ember of Tempering, Solar Weapon Final Blows grant you and your allies increased recovery for a short duration, stacks three times, so that's going to help us with the Tommies as well, so even if we take some damage and have to run away, we're going to have increased recovery no matter what. While Ember of Tempering is active, your weapons have increased airborne effectiveness and your Solar Weapon Final Blows create a Fire Sprite. Fire Sprites are also important because that feeds right back into our build. Anytime we get a Fire Sprite, that is going to give us some grenade energy when we pick it up. And then lastly, we have Ember of Resolve. Solar Grenade Final Blows Cure You. Anytime you need some health, anything like that, you're just going to throw a grenade on any of those weak enemies, create a Fire Sprite, pop off 
an orb so you can feed right back into your grenade basically have it back instantly and you're gonna get healed so it's all very very powerful to have in this loop together i'm running it with a deliverance fusion rifle with demolitionist and adrenaline junkie one of my favorite weapons that i have here and we're using a briar's contempt i'm not sure if we're using that in the actual footage but that's one that i definitely will be pairing it with since we are running our solar weapon surge mods on our boots speaking of solar mods and other mods for our armor here is our armor screen right here everything decked out just the way we want it time dilation is very important to have on there i didn't personally think time dilation was going to be all that helpful with a lot of the builds when this uh, new kind of build system came out but time dilation is definitely an essential part of almost any one of my builds here so let's go ahead and check out what this build can do in some gameplay. So we're heading to the dungeon now. See you there. All right, so as powerful as this build is, it is also very simple to use. One of the more simple builds that I have. Use grenade, get grenade. Use grenade, get grenade. Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. Easy, you miss grenade, use Tommy's for a while. It doesn't matter. But I mean, just watch it. You run through absolutely demolishing everything in your path anything sitting in front of you is an instant delete with your grenade and tommy's is so so strong getting it ramped up spreading that scorch around and just taking out massive health bars on some of these yellow bars you'll see in here we have a couple of clips that it's just not even funny it takes their health all the way out so so fast and not to mention the survivability you can survive so much pain with this as long as you have your grenade throwing it you're gonna get some of that back from the ember that cures you and that's gonna really help you even when you don't have a sunspot it's gonna give you a sunspot give you most of your health and you'll instantly regenerate it most of the way up assuming that you don't have maybe a boss right in front of you of course but this second encounter in this dungeon is pretty much the ultimate stress test on a build there are so many ads they're coming at you from every single angle and being able I'm I'm up over half of my health the whole time well over the half bar on my health unless i just throw a grenade at my own feet essentially and throwing a grenade at my feet is a calculated move that i use with this build because it also since it does cure you as long as you have over half of your health you're going to end up netting more health than you started with of course if you have less than half of your health well that's probably the only reason that i ever died in this dungeon <laughs> one thing that i did notice that I found incredibly helpful was when I would have a knight, a yellow bar knight or an orange bar knight. If I hit them with the grenade and they didn't go down, one punch and they will ignite. And obviously that does two things for you. First, it's going to create sort of like a live grenade that's going to go off on any enemies that happen to be around. But also, when you do make ignitions happen, we're getting more grenade energy back. That's giving us grenade regen. And with all these buffs to our grenade, you know, I'm running around 90 discipline. You don't even need that. You could probably get away easily under 50 discipline and be running almost the exact same uptime on your grenade that I am. Let's get into Tommy's matchbook here a little bit. I mean, it is insanely powerful. One of my favorite weapons that I'm using right now, and I can't believe I haven't gotten it sooner. Setting up one sunspot for yourself will let you absolutely pop off on all kinds of ads in front of you. They stand absolutely no chance, and you're going to be able to stay alive the whole time, no matter what. You're not going to go really into red health very often, if ever, and even when you do, you're creating those fire sprites that's giving you grenade energy, all that good stuff, and feeding right back into your build, getting more health, making more sunspots, and staying alive, moving from one place to the other, which when you do have a high ad density area such as this, that is so valuable to you. Anyway, Guardians, that's going to be all for me for now. I know we're getting a second video drop this week, and I'm going to try and keep that going for at least the next week or so, uh, depending on how many builds we can get out and, and my time in general. But I definitely enjoyed this so much, I had to make a video on it after that dungeon. It was just, it was too powerful to not share. Let's go ahead and throw that meme up on the screen now. And go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below how you have been enjoying this new season as well as using the Ashen Wake and Tommy's Matchbook combo. It is crazy strong in my opinion and one of the most fun 
ways to play Destiny currently. If you did enjoy this video, I do always appreciate a like and a sub. But no matter what, until next time, Guardians, be without form, swift as lightning.